Research in the 1950s helped towards the development of the first successful vertical takeoff and landing aeroplane, eventually to become the Harrier. Carbon fibre is employed extensively in the wing and tailplane of the latest version of the Harrier, which is in service with the RAF and the US Marine Corps. The Royal Aircraft Establishment and NASA are working closely together to move on to the next generation of this type of aircraft. Although it has had a remarkable success, the Harrier has limitations, both in size and its lack of supersonic capability. The UK and USA have agreed to pursue a collaborative research program to explore the prospects for a supersonic version. Once again, the scientists at Farnborough are being asked to look into the future and get it right. These design concepts are candidates for further development. Work being done at RAE will be important in the final choice. Engine configuration has a significant impact on the aircraft's aerodynamics. Each of these options is an attempt to address the fundamental problem of combining efficient lift with an advanced supersonic airframe. Since the early days, one of the RAE's most important roles has been to look ahead and to establish research targets and objectives 10 or 20 years in advance. Not an easy role today in the rapidly advancing field of aerospace technology.